I had to turn it up a little bit cause they start hate Like, like, like comment and subscribe, tell me why you wait The real breezy TV on, get that type of day What's up guys, it's your girl and I'm back on another video So um, I had someone tell me that they saw my video for uh, blinged out pacifiers and she said that she needed a little bit more instructions. So I told her I was going to do this video. Giving a little bit more instruction on how to do the blinked out pacifiers. Matter of fact, maybe I will do the computer stuff. So we'll go over to the computer and I'll show you guys how I do. I'll show you guys how I do everything, okay? Um, I will be using the, 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 I will be using Cricut, the, the Cricut. I will be using Cricut Design Space and my Explorer Air 2. What should I do to make her? I'm, I'm going to do the Explorer Air 2. Um, so let's, I'm going to go over to the computer, show you guys my screen so that uh, we can get this started. So let's go. Okay, so I'm hoping you guys, oh sorry, I'm hoping you guys can see my screen good. Please excuse my little dirty fan. I uh, hope you guys can see my screen good. So. I already have a template for almost everything that I like to do or everything that I do I kind of like have a template so I can go back to it and just if I'm doing pictures I can add some you know take I can add and take subtract all that good stuff so I keep my all of my templates so this one is for the pacifiers and it says pacifier template So I am going to duplicate. I'm going to duplicate one. What's that? Okay. Duplicate one. And only because I use them as a template, I'm gonna go ahead and group these and then get rid of. Okay, so I'm not gonna do a picture today and. I guess I don't have to blur it out because you guys can't really see the picture. Um, but I probably, but anyway, I'm not going to do a picture on the pacifier for the simple fact that um, this is just for showing purposes and I don't want to waste the pacifier. So um, I am going to, let's see, let me find a picture. Now. I'm going to do a silver pacifier if I'm not mistaken. I have a gold one and I have more silver. So I'm going to do a silver pacifier and this is what they look like. You haven't seen them already probably can I'll show you better dark over here oh okay checking up so this is what they look like okay so um, I'm going to just first I'm going to do as a matter of fact let's see let's see what they got here I'm going to pick a picture I'm gonna do something for a little girl. So let's do a, let's do a unicorn. So let's pull up a unicorn. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Okay, let's do this unicorn right here. It's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, so mind you, we just using these as you know, our as our little template. So move this to the side. Come on, stop. Okay, now it just want to give me issues. So let's move this to the side. So I am going to. This is the. Excuse me. This is the image that I'm going to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come over here to shapes, and I'm going to get a circle. I'm going to make this circle big enough to cover this unicorn and then I am going to put the circle, I'm going to click um, on my computer, it's the right key, what is it, the right click, right click, I single click on the circle and then I'm going to send, send it to back so it's behind. Now since this is for a little girl, let's try Let's turn our circle maybe purple. Turn our circle purple. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so we're going to do that. 
and put it right in there. Make sure it's in the middle. Looks a little centered. And now I'm going to select both of them and I am going to flatten it. So it was one image. So now I'm going to look at sides of the disc for you to sublimate on for the pacifier. Um, I have 0 0.8 by 0 0.8. So I'm going to t click it. I want to go up to the size. I'm going to hit the un hit the unlock hit the lock to, to unlock it. And I am going to change it to 0 0.8. 0. What's wrong with stuff? Okay. 0 0.8. What in the world? 0 0.8 by 0 0.8. What is going on with my computer? 0 0.8. Okay, so this is the same size as that. Yes, it is. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and close that one. Um, and instead of. Okay, and so I'm going to come back up and I'm going to give me another circle. And let's just write beauty. So we're going to also make this circle purple to match that. And then we'll make beauty, we'll make beauty black. But I want to change the font. So I'm going to change the font. I want to change it to like a cursive or something. So let's see what we got here. That's cute. Let's do that. Just like that. You ever spell something and it really looks like that's not how you spell it? Why does that look weird? Don't judge me. Okay, so we're going to turn the word beauty black because when you change the font, it takes automatically back to gray color. Um, I kind of want to put, I want it to be a little bit fuller, so I'm going to put a little offset on it. A little offset on it. Yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna apply it and offset. Maybe I'll make the offset like a. Uh, should I do white? Uh, how about pink? Yeah, let's do pink. So that really looks weird to me. I don't understand. Anyway, so this is what we're gonna put. So I'm gonna go ahead and change. This is 0 0.9 by 0 0.9. So we're gonna take this. We're going to flatten it. And we are going to change the size to 0 0.9 by 0 0.9. Okay, so that's the same, about the same size there. Yes, it is. Go ahead and close that out. And here we have both of our images. Um, I'm also gonna make it, okay, so I'll make them a little bigger just so we can see. Oh, screen. Oh, that's is that new? Cause I never even pay attention that you can do that. So that's what it's. That's what it, it will look like. It'll look like, but it is still the original 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. Okay, so over to the computer we go. I mean, over to the heat press we go. I'm gonna print this out with my sublimation printer. Again, you need a sublimation printer to do this or to do what I'm doing. Um, I have used regular photo paper before for this so you can use regular photo paper um just gotta make sure your sizing is correct so let's go over to the heat press and i'm gonna show you guys exactly step by step how i do this um so i'll see you in a second okay so while that is printing out um i got some other stuff i need to do so that's why i got this stuff up here but while that's printing out Oh, you know what's crazy? You can also use a mini press. You don't even need a big, a big heat press. Use a, a mini press. Okay, so. so I got to do to show you guys the video of me making the, the what is it, the cell phone clock stop, whatever the hell they call it. I don't. Okay, so put this over here. Please excuse all of my little rhinestones that I have here. I need to clean this up been trying to 
learn how to do blinged out coffee mugs. So that's my thing now. Blinged out coffee mugs for the moment. Okay, so here we have our pasty. Here's the pasta pie, y'all. And I do sell these too, so if you guys need pasties, let me know. So here's the pacifier. Bang, bang. Okay, can you guys see? I know my light, but my light be so off. I gotta get my lighting right. Okay, so here's the pasties. Bling down pasties. And in the package comes, you have your disc, and you have some little sticky paper. I never use that sticky papers because that shit don't last. Um, I use E6000 or 3000, whatever it is. So here are the little discs that you're gonna press right here. A little disc. Sit that right there. Okay, so now we have our image and it is mirrored. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this out real fast and just put this paper back in my printer because I can still use this is a lot of paper here okay. so I'm going to gather paper for my heat press because I I use regular um paper when I do sublimation you can use whatever works for you But I like to cover my heat press with regular paper and I am using um, the Wilder Press from Heat Press Nation. If you do not, or if you are looking for a heat press, this is definitely a good heat press. It is a 15 by 15 heat press. Heat press is an auto open slide out. I mean, I'll, this heat press is a slide out drawer. It's not an auto open, but I will be there soon. It's a slide out drawer. Um, so again, this is from Heat Transfer Warehouse. I love this heat press. I also have a Signature Pro from a Heat Press Nation Signature Pro, I believe it is, from Heat Press Nation, and I barely use it. I feel like I'm neglecting my Heat Press because this Heat Press definitely got me some coins, okay? Got the job done. I need to be a little bit more uh, appreciative to it, so I'm about to start using it again soon. <laughs> anyway. I line what you'll be able to see the heat press in it. So I line my heat press with regular paper and I use E6000 glue. Okay, E6000 glue. So remember the sizes for, so I am going to take both of my sublimation disc and remember be my always check and see because some some sublimation discs don't have it but a lot of them do have the plastic on top crazy thing um it's crazy because bo both of these are the same both of these discs are the same size my my own you know i have my own preferences preferences on why i make one a, like a little bit bigger than the other one so Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put it here. Line it up good. Make sure you got heat some um some heat heat tape. Put that on there like that. Just like that. Turn it over, and this is like this. A little bit of my little bit of it's gonna be cut off, but it's okay. Um, I should have made them. I should have made um, my mistake was my circle. My circle was supposed to be 0 0.9, just because I like it to be a little bit bigger so I can get the full um, image or name in it, and I make the name a little bit smaller. go ain't too bad okay turn it over see ya? take another piece of paper here 
cover it up. My heat press is at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Everything just sticking. Everything just sticking. Okay, these are very hot. Let it cool off. I've never let stuff cool off, but I probably need to. So this is really hot, so we're gonna let that cool off. Okay, it probably ain't that cool, but I did flip that around so I can pull it off. So that came out pretty good. Okay, so let's get this one here. Ah, oh, it's so cute, yes. So they are done. Okay, so came out pretty good. Okay, so as you can see here, there is some sublimation that's still exposed, which has no color on it, so that's why it's white. Um, what I did wrong is I did not make my circle big enough. So that's why I'm saying your circle size should be a 0 0.9, and your design inside the circle should be just a little bit smaller. So that way you can get the full design on the sublimation disc. And just so you know, both sublimation discs are the same size. So they came out really good. So I'm gonna wipe my pacifier. I'm gonna wipe the pacifier off. My fingerprints and all that good stuff. Wipe it off. Okay, let that cool. Let it cool. Let it dry. <laughs> I'm gonna let that cool. Dry it off. So there we go. Okay, so take a little dab. Man, this is man, this is uh, whatever we we be we be beefing, man. Okay, so I put a little dab on there. A little dab, but that looks like that might be too much. Let's just take a little bit of this off of here. Okay. And we can I can put the pass put that right on there. You see it? So I put a little dab of my E6000. And then I just put the image on it, put it tight a little bit, then I let that sit, and I do the same thing over here to this, okay, then I take this one and I line it up with the top of the thing here, because this is where the clip is, ooh, shit. the clip is on the side. So I line it up with the little thing at the very top where the chain hooks to. Put that on there like that. Then I let that sit for a few minutes. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. If you guys can see it, I know my Light would be crazy, so that's what it looks like, right? So I see where I messed up a little bit, but here is the here is the good thing about these pacifiers, where I can see a little bit of white around the edge. And y'all know on this channel, I will show y'all, I will show y'all my screw ups and everything. Okay, so you, I can see a little bit of the white from the disc on the edge. But the good thing about the pacifiers is that if you do, if you mess up, right? If you mess up, these little plastic things that they give you will cover the edges. So you can't even see the fact that there is some there is some white from the disc there. So these little bad boys here. Okay, these little bad boys here. And they stick to it. So I don't but I don't I don't put any E six thousand on that part. 
which I probably could, I probably could. I've never done it. I should try it one time. Since this is just for what you call the purposes, I probably, I probably will just try it and see. Hmm. Cause I never wanted to. And, but anyway, so it got a sticky back to it. It got a sticky back, but that, that's that ain't even sticking good anyway. So I probably have to put some E six thousand on there anyway. But anyway. So let's do this one first because this one was done first. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little, like a little, little dab of this, and just put it on there. Get away the camera. No, they can't see you. Okay, just a little dab, but I'm gonna put it on here just to make it stick. Oh, not bad. You just gotta squeeze it good to make sure that it uh, stays on it. Oh yeah, it definitely does fill it too, too. You don't need the E6000 though. Squeeze it on there until it fills all the way on all the sizes and you don't see no liquid. Then let that cool off. And I always wipe my stuff down before I, before I send it out too. So, and that's what it looks like. You see? You see? So... You can put the E6000 on it to give it an extra, uh, you know, some extra security. And, but I typically don't. I normally just stick the stick it on there because it doesn't really come off. Come on, get off me, plastic. The plastic just loves to stick to you, like I swear to God. This one looks like it needs uh, what you call it too, but some E6000 on it too. But here we go. Here is the finished product. I hope I helped you out a little bit better. I know you probably can't see it. Like my light would be the worst. Like, can you see that? Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. That's what it looks like. Awesome. Quick, too. Like, So I hope that helped you out a little bit. If it did not and it's anything that I missed in the video, please comment. Let me know what it is that you need to see. And I will redo it with no problem. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And be breezy. Peace.